It's Rogue RMD, how to diagnose your own ACL tear on MRI. The goal of this video is very simple. If you watch this video straight through to the end, I guarantee you'll be able to diagnose 85% of ACL tears 100% of the time. Here's the game plan. I'm going to talk a little bit about the ACL. I'm going to show you the normal appearance of the ACL. And then I'm going to show you what a torn ACL looks like on MRI. So what is the ACL? ACL stands for anterior cruciate ligament. All right. A ligament is a rope-like connection between two bones. Inside the knee, we have two ligaments in an X formation, which are called the cruciate ligaments. By necessity, one has to be in front and one has to be in back. The one in the front is the ACL, anterior cruciate ligament. The goal of this structure is to keep the femur very tight to the tibia during flexion and extension. So how do you find a normal ACL on an MRI of the knee? First, you want to be using the sagittal set of images. All right, this slices the knee lengthwise, and you sort of get a front and a back to the knee. You'll know it's sagittal if you can see the kneecap or the patella very nicely, usually on the left-hand side of the screen. So this is a sagittal image. The next thing I want to know is the weighting of the image. I prefer to use the T2 weighted fat sat images. You'll know that it's that set of images if you look at the bone. The bone will have kind of a dark blackish appearance. So this is the sequence that I want to look at. So if the bone looks sort of whitish on the inside, uh, you want to pick the other one. All right, so I have a sagittal T2 weighted set of images here. Next thing I do is I kind of scroll into the middle, kind of where the patella is, and I look for ligaments here. So first I'm going to show the ACL. So the ACL basically uh, originates from the intercondylar region of the femur. So this is the ACL right here, this dark signal structure. And you can see it sort of courses almost 45 degrees anteriorly and inserts onto the front part of the tibia. All right, so there is the ACL basically right here. You can even see these gentle little striations in the ligament here as it fuses into that bone, and that's a normal appearance of the ACL. All right, sometimes the ACL, you might have to use a couple of scrolls to find the whole thing. So for example, here I am, here's a piece of the ACL there. And as I keep scrolling, I can see a little bit more of the ACL right there. So in sum, that is basically the ACL right there. Again, coming from the intercondylar region, uh, 45 degree angle forward and inserting onto the tibia. These striations in the ligament, if they're in the same longitudinal plane of the ligament, it's completely normal. That's a normal finding. All right. Contradistinction to the ACL, here is the PCL. You see this thick, blocky looking ligament, very well defined. It sort of comes off a little bit lower on the intercondylar region of the femur. And it almost courses straight back initially. Again, very thick, uh, very well defined. And then it sort of makes this 90 degree turn and goes straight down right on the back of the tibia. All right? This is the PCL. For the purposes of this video, I don't care about the PCL. All right? I'm just showing it so you don't get confused. And again, so basically on this image here, you can see the ACL here, kind of coursing 45 degrees anterior. Here's the PCL, totally different, kind of has this 90 degree turn and inserts right on the very back aspect of the tibia. Okay, so we saw the normal ACL. This is a patient that presented with pain, and as I'm scrolling through, we can see the PCL, but just take a look. You cannot see the ACL. So as I scroll again, we come down back into the middle, and just notice that you can almost see a piece of the ACL here, but basically there's just a complete disruption of the ligament. That normal coursing uh, fiber, basically coursing that 45 degree angle here on this image, is just not there. This is an ACL tear. And in fact, if you look here, you can see this folded up uh, funny looking crinkly thing. That is probably the ACL basically completely torn and then kind of hanging free inside the joint. All right, here we go. Case two. Uh, another patient here. This is a sagittal T2 weighted set of images. I'm scrolling through the middle of the knee. And again, here is the ACL. You can see completely abnormal appearance. The ligaments completely thickened. There's a lot of abnormal fluid in here. It's kind of got a bulky, rounded, just a lumpy appearance. Uh, the portion of the ligaments kind of hanging out way back here. Why should a normal ligament be way out here? Clearly this is torn. You can even see some discontinuity of the ligament. Um, do not confuse this with those normal striations that I showed you initially. You see some striations here, but they're all kind of uh, jagged and just abnormal appearing. This is another just uh, clear ACL tear. All right, guys, here's case number three. This, I believe, was a pedestrian uh, struck by a motor vehicle on the road. And you can see there's a ton of abnormal findings here, but... Looking at that ACL, here we are kind of in the middle here. You can see some fibers of the ACL, but there's just a complete disruption of this ligament. 
There's all this stuff here, just completely not normal looking. This is a completely torn ACL. Another finding here, which is uh, somewhat rare, you don't see that a lot, is actually the PCL, that thick blocky ligament that we typically see here, is also torn. So PCL is torn, the ACL is clearly torn. Uh, there you go, another perfect example of an ACL tear. All right, here you go, here's another one. This is a great case. You can actually see the ACL fibers here, and you can see right here focally, they're just completely disrupted. This is a complete tear. You can see how uh, funny looking and angulated these fibers are. Remember, it should be a nice tight rope-like structure going from the intercondylar region of the femur down to the tibia. Here you can actually just clearly identify that tear on a single slice. Perfect example of an ACL tear. This is a torn ACL. This is exactly what I look for on every single MRI of the knee that I open up. All right, so there you go. You've seen a bunch of torn ACLs. Now you're a relative expert in this field and you could diagnose, again, in my opinion, you could diagnose 85% of ACL tears 100% of the time. Now, what didn't I show you? Okay, my critics would probably say I showed you a bunch of easy cases and it's true, I did. I showed you the straightforward cases, the one that you see about 85% of the time. The other 15% of the time, you have the difficult cases, the questionable tears, the partial tears, all right, the ACL cysts and the like. All right, those cases are for me and other radiologists to figure out. So we'll take care of those. But they're for you, the general public. Feel free to try your luck on your own MRI with this important information about ACL tears. Now, my question is, what else can I do for you? Or rather, what could you do for me? All right. For starters, how about a like? How about a share? How about a comment below? How about a subscription to my channel for more interesting and relevant content? All right. If you like what you see, please let me know about it. I'm Sorel Garamdi. Let's make radiology great again.